favorite bass lines which is Paul McCartney's groove from uh, Penny Lane. I love this, I love this song uh, and this groove and the first time I heard this when it first came out many many years ago uh, it blew me away. It was the first time I'd ever heard the bass played so melodically and it's amazing because he starts out way up in the in the upper register at the 16th fret of the D and the G string in uh, with notes that mimic or act not they don't mimic they harmonize with the uh, melody at Penny Lane da, 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 just those first notes and it's they're played at about the same tempo so what we're going to do is go through this song I'm going to divide it into three parts it's actually four different movements I'm going to teach you the first movement this week uh, with the uh, fretboard Ralph if you please put up the fretboard no now put down the milkshake. Don't feed the iguana. Yes. Well, you have such a limited number of jobs to do. I mean, this is not that difficult. Just thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. So what you're going to be able to do is follow along with what I'm playing. You'll see exactly the notes that I'm playing. So I'm not going to call them out because you see them on the fretboard. That'll save us both a lot of time and aggravation. I'll do this, I'll go through one step at a time, I'll step by step through the notes uh, so you'll see exactly what I'm playing without my fingers getting in the way. And, uh, and then we'll do this, the first part this week, the second part next week, and the third, actually the third and fourth parts uh, on the third week because they're, they're much simpler and, and shorter than these two. The main, the main uh, movement in the song, main bass movement is this and I'll, I'll just uh, play it at roughly at speed so you can see what it's supposed to sound like. So that's what we're going to work on this week. That's more or less the speed we'll be doing at. <clears throat> but, excuse me. The first thing we're going to do is just get those, those simple notes on the 16th fret of the D and the G string under your fingers until they're sounding really uh, smooth and melodic. They're not staccato. I mean, that's a fine if you're learning the notes to play them that way, but you should be able to play them. The second note has a little more emphasis than the first. And the fourth note has more emphasis than the second. Okay, so the first and the third are almost ghost notes. Okay, once you get those roughly at that tempo, then we'll be ready for the next uh, walk down. But let's let's do that first, just at this speed. Okay, just do that until you're comfortable with it. Uh, Paul uses a pick. He uses a pick a lot. And I like the percussiveness of it. It just uh, he he plays so solid and so on the beat. Uh, but since this is in a tutorial and that that percussiveness will just sort of get in the way, I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm going to rock back and forth between the, my first and second fingers on the uh, third and fourth strings on the D and the G string. So if you get those, pick it up, make it a little more melodic. More melodic. So let's just get that under your fingers. Just rock back and forth until it's real comfortable. And then you feel as though you can emphasize it the way that vocal is, so you can play it as if it's a vocal. And that's just a simple walk down. You're going to end up with this little, that little, you're going to end up on the 16th fret of the G string. Walk down to the 15th, then to the 13th, then skip a string down to the D and go to the 16th fret on the D string. You can see what I'm doing on the fretboard. 
So that whole part is get that under your fingers and you can play it at roughly that speed. <laughs> Better than that. Okay, once you can do that at that speed then we'll move into the next part. But first make sure that you have that under your fingers. So let's go through it at a, at a fairly slow speed. speed. One, two, So if you, once you get to where you can play that, okay, then we'll get into the next part, which is, and that's a ghost note from the 13th to the 14th uh, fret of the A string. It's just ghost over that 13th. That's again, it's a walk down. all the way down to that big bad uh, B on the second fret of the, of the A string. And this is, this is what we've got going so far. Okay, so let's go through all of that whole movement at, uh, at about this speed. One, two, Once you get that under your fingers and you're able to do that at speed, once you're able to do it at that speed, then the next part, uh, we go up to the, ooh, we go up to the 11th fret of the A string with another long hold note, and then the 10th fret, and then the 9th fret. So we get that big bad B, then the 11th fret, same string, 10th fret, same string, 9th fret, and you're just going back and forth between the 1st uh, and the 5th, if you imagine the scale up here. We're going back and forth between the 1st uh, and the 5th. Just a ghost note. See, the last then it's a less than less than the sixteenth. It's like a thirty-second note. Okay, so from that that uh, B, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Okay, so now this is what we have so far. So once you're up at that point, the next part is uh, after we go, and be sure, be sure to get what, what we've done so far really under your fingers because if you don't, you're just going to get frustrated and you're not going to be able to remember things. Uh, just, just make it mechanical. Actually, it's a good idea to use headphones if you can, so you don't drive the neighbors crazy. But after that, you 
doing a little ghost on the 8th and the 9th of the D string. And then you're going into another walk, okay? So do this part. We'll start with... Um, okay, just do that. Again, two, three, four. Once you get that, we begin to walk down. Okay. Then going eight and nine, and you go right back to the eight. So at the end of that run, when you're going... Then you repeat those last two notes to walk to, walking up to uh, the walk down. Repeat the same figure again. Okay, so let's start on the... Uh, so far is those walking those uh, ghost notes really make it stand out so specially When you're doing those single notes, it helps if you do just a little bit of a tremolo or you can stretch just a little bit, make them, make them more interesting. They're just hanging there and it just sounds a little, they have a little more dimension if you do something interesting to them. Obviously you don't want to stretch it so much you're not in tune with the rest of the band. That would be bad. Just a little. Okay. So this is your piece. And I'm going to do it through at uh, one, two, three. I hope you enjoy that and I hope it made some sense to you and you can work your way through it. Uh, we'll pick it up next week with the, the second part of the, uh, the bass line, which is, which is also interestingly interesting melodically, uh, but it's very different from this part. So uh, enjoy, practice, make sure you have that under your fingers before you get on to the next lesson. And I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. All the best, take care, talk to you next time.